So, hello and welcome to Physica Fantastica, the physics of innovation. Three key words here, explore, understand, and build. So by way of an introduction here, let's have a look at this guy. This guy has a virtual reality helmet on. And that leads us to the central question for the next hour, and that is, what is reality? So I used to think I knew, you know, that chair over there in reality is made of atoms which in turn are made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And then I became a theoretical physicist, and now I have no clue what that chair actually is. <laughs> With string theory and extra dimensions, what is it? I'd have no clue. All right, so uh, our understanding of reality is reflected in our ability to simulate reality. Okay, so check out this cool simulated reality I found on YouTube. Okay, so what we see here is a very tall person made out of crates, and a guy comes running up, and he grabs a crate out from the bottom, and he yanks it out, and the whole thing comes tumbling down in a very realistic-looking fashion, I might add. That kind of simulated reality runs on a gaming computer. How many of you are gaming computer enthusiasts? <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a room full of high school students, I must add, it's 75% of students like this. <laughs> okay, so what's interesting is that, that what tells that gaming computer what to do is something called a physics engine. Encoded in that physics engine are the laws of nature. How we understand things work. What we understand reality to be. Fact is, what's on the screen appears to be quite high tech, and indeed it is. However, the laws of physics encoded in that physics engine date way back to this guy, Sir Isaac Newton. Since that time, of course, theoretical physicists have realized that reality goes much deeper than this. Our understanding of reality progresses in levels. For example, we start with Newton, and then people like Maxwell, and then Einstein, and Stephen Hawking, and people today, other people today. And so it's a little bit like a video game. Okay, in a video game, we are at, say, level one. The rules are pretty simple, uh, but we can't do very much in our world. Then we progress to level two. The rules get more complicated. The world we are in gets more interesting. We have more powers. Okay, so our understanding of reality is a bit like that in levels. The difference is that, um, that our understanding of reality, we, we're at some level of understanding right now, but we have no idea how deep it actually goes. Unlike a video game, when you buy the video game, you know, oh, there's just 10 levels. When I get to level 10, then I rule, right? But with study of reality, we have no idea how deep it actually goes. Moreover, rather than just a game, this is reality. So here's an example of a reality out there, okay? A supermassive black hole consuming stars and like ejecting huge high energy jets of particles and radiation. A black hole where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. Way cool stuff out there, right? Yes, way cool? Way cool stuff out there. At least a very cool picture. <laughs> okay? Now we might wonder, well, okay, so what? Yeah, all that stuff is out there really, really cool. What does it have to do with me in my day-to-day -day life? Well, it turns out actually quite a lot. Because it turns out that understanding reality is just like that. What is space? What is time? What is gravity? What is matter? What is energy? Really, really basic questions like that. Turns out that even partial answers to questions like that uh, empower us to innovate, are our most potent source of ideas to create new technologies. Okay, so the, the, the basic reason is that anything that we 